man himself, Tim. Excited to uh, be showing off Tim's rig today. Super cool F-150, very minimalist um, truck topper build. You said you were gonna get a truck camper, right? Yeah. And then there was like a weight on that because yeah. of all the production really craziness this year. Weight. I was able to get the topper a lot quicker. It's a little bit lighter. It's pretty much would have been the same build out on the insides. You've done an amazing job. I really think it's super cozy and Thank you. you can just tell like every little, you got the iPad holder, you got, you know, the fishing rod, you got the bear spray where you need it and convenience. Some aluminum rack up there, some max tracks. That, the rack came on the topper. Oh, really? Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, I just love this higher top. I think that makes all the difference for being able. You said you can almost stand up in there, right? Bent over, yeah, my neck. Just a little bit, there. yeah. <laughs> you got your solar panels up there, and then this is your, uh, all your clothes, right? That's my dresser. It's awesome. Yeah, extra storage underneath. Might as well keep it simple, right, Brian? That's right, man. Brian knows simple. <laughs> It's been fun to camp with you, man, and yeah. and just uh, get to know you. And everyone has their own reasons for being on the road, and it's just it's always fun. Especially like when we first saw your rig at Crestone, it's like, man, this guy, you didn't just do this in a weekend, you know. You thought about this a little bit. It, it took a little while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's cool, man. And then you got a big old front bumper and a winch too, big old winch. Just so that will get you out of some trouble if you need. Hopefully, we won't need it. Well. You needed it once already, but not for me. I put that bumper on there, and then that chrome wrap around the grill was terrible. Yeah. So a friend of mine had the parts, and um, I got rid of all the chrome. Yeah, I love the updated grill, too, the newer grill. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, Raptor ripoff. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Case is recovery gear, a couple snatch blocks, tree straps, and my tarp. My, um, my tarp poles and my tarp. Nice. And then water, you got your, this is the Lifesaver container, right? Yep. Um, so that's pretty cool. I actually hadn't seen one of these in action until I saw yours. Oh, and he's going to demo it for us. Sure. See, it's got a filter inside there, and it pressurizes with that pump. That's pretty cool. It's not... It's, it's the water level's about down here. When it's full, it comes out a lot faster. Yeah, of course. That's a pretty handy way to get your water done, though. I like that, man. I'm gonna put it on the back. Yeah. And then I like what you've done with the little anchors here, so you don't have to have a ladder. You can get up on your roof that way. Yep, and they're handy for hanging stuff. I hang my light off of it for cooking outside in the dark. Nice. Stuff like that. The bike on the side, too. That is clutch. That's saving some space right there. I had to. The aerodynamics are terrible for the highway driving. <laughs> but it's handy. It's pretty easy to get on and off so I don't, you know, I don't have to get up. I don't have to climb up. If I had to climb up on the roof to get it, I would never use it. Yeah. No, I hear you. And that's a big thing with me right now. Like, I don't like having my mountain bike on the tailgate, but I ride it way more. I went on a little ride last night just because it was sitting there. Okay, something like that. They're, uh... 295 70R17s. Nice. But well, they're E rated. And you've That's got. I was going to put a big heavy camper on there. Yeah, so on that note, too, you have airbags already. Yep, airbags on the rear axle. So, yeah, this high top, that's pretty freaking high. There's a lot of headroom. Yeah. yeah. And um, I can pull this center out, too, so you can have your feet down there and you, you can sit super comfortable. But. I usually don't even pull it out. Yeah, so you can almost do a dinette style thing if you want. Kind of. But you keep it comfy. You got plenty of space over here for yeah. foods and such. And then you got, we just caught you putting away your Pantry's under your here. stove there. Oh yeah, All nice. My easily accessible stuff Yeah. for cooking. Solar control panels up in the front there. Yeah, so you built this and this unit looks really cool. At first I was like, where'd you get that? Um, I looked a lot into the, the power boxes, but I, I knew absolutely nothing about solar. Uh -huh. So I wanted to learn about it. So I've got two sealed liquid acid batteries. They're both 120 amp hours. 200 watt panels up on the front of the truck. I put a DC-DC charger in it, which um, allows 
the house batteries in the back to take a charge from the alternator or the solar system will charge the starter battery. If nice. And the water, um, you built your own road shower type kind of deal? I did. Um, it worked well in the beginning. It held pressure, air pressure in it until I drove it up the pass and I blew some, I blew, I blew it out somewhere, it leaks. Yeah. But it holds water without leaking, but if you pressurize it, it won't. What are your plans next? You're, you're from Virginia, right? Virginia. So you've, you've done quite the traveling in this this year. Yep. Yeah. Um, I put uh, like 3,500 on it since the 1st of September. Nice. Um, not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. I just do short hops. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Well, he's down to mob. Um, <laughs> so yeah, drop a comment. Let us know what you think of Tim's rig. Uh, certainly fun to check out everyone's different setups. And like I said, I never really knew that these uh, taller truck toppers were so freaking spacious. So appreciate it. And it doesn't get hot. Yeah, and I, it, I was kind of worried about that. So insulation too. You have pink uh, the XPS foam on the floor. Yeah, that that's all around I got the shell um, just as a skeleton yeah I didn't want them to put their headliner in there I wanted thicker insulation yeah so it keeps the hot out and it keeps the warm in it's, yeah it works well yeah it was cold last night it was about 30 it was probably about 30 yeah and uh, you, know, I didn't, you guys I aren't didn't, complaining no it's awesome I didn't use the electric blanket yeah, I ran my uh, Max Oak dry on the electric banquet last night. <laughs> but, uh, well, cool, man. Thanks for showing us again. And yeah, you're welcome. You guys comment. Let us know what you think of Tim's rig and hit the like if you enjoyed the video, of course. We know Tim's down to mob. Down to mob. The only question is, are you down to mob? Woo!